ready to go? Yeah. Can I get this? Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a prepared statement from the Holmes family. There's not going to be a speaker and I'm not going to present it other than to pass out the written statement to all of you. everybody. Can you hear me okay? Um, I'm Lisa Damiani and um, I'm an attorney here in San Diego. I've been asked to um, speak on behalf of the Holmes family and I am not representing James Holmes, just to make that clear. James is being represented by the Colorado um, Public Defender's Office. The reason we're here is that the media has been attributing certain statements to Arlene um, Holmes and taking her comments out of context. I would like to take the time to read a statement from Arlene Holmes clarifying what transpired in the early morning, Friday morning, um, when she got a phone call from an ABC reporter. And this is her statement. Um, this statement is to clarify a statement made by ABC Media. I was awakened by a call from a reporter from ABC on July 20, about 5.45 in the morning. I did not know anything about a shooting in Aurora at that time. He asked if I was Arlene Holmes and if my son was James Holmes who lives in Aurora, Colorado. I answered, yes, you have the right person. I was referring to myself. I asked him to tell me why he was calling, and he told me about a shooting in Aurora. He asked for a comment. I told him I could not comment because I did not know if the person he was talking about was my son and I would need to find out. go out to the victims and their families. Um, the Holmes family would like to maintain their privacy. Um, so at this time, we will not be discussing James or his relationship to the family. You know, we, I, we, we, we haven't been looking at all of the news reports, so I really can't comment on that. Right, because that, that's not exactly what she said, and I think that was the interpretation 
that the, me the media were giving to that statement was that somehow she was like, oh, well, I'm not surprised um, that this is the person, and that's not what she was saying. Can you elaborate on that? Was she surprised to hear this, or was it I am not going to comment on that. Well, no, um, no, nobody from the Aurora Police Department has attempted to contact us for any purpose. Um, so presently there is nobody asking for assistance. Um, additionally, at, at that time, there were other authorities here locally who were, um, we were talking. Um, we've been told that that is uh, highly likely that that's going to happen. How concerned are you? Um, everyone's concerned. Who told you? Who told me what? Well, nobody told me that. I just, from what I know about the laws in Colorado, because it is a death penalty state, and um, the, the pro obviously it's going to be murder one. Um, and in, with a murder one charge, that's when someone can be facing the death penalty. what the family's um, experience has been with, with James. Not at this time. The family um, has elected not to discuss James or their relationship with James at this time. I can't comment about um, James or the relationship between James and his family at this time.